All right, so this is basically part two of the XKD review. Now, one of my friends, Ted, he bought a power meter ages ago. He did some testing for me. He sent me the data and um, we looked at it and it's quite interesting. Basically, the XKD seemed to be fine in terms of like accuracy, uh, but it was just offset a little bit. Um, so I think basically they don't always calibrate it straight at the factory. So sometimes it can be a little bit off. But if you can peg it to a certain, onto a known power meter, it was fine. Uh, and now my, my other friend, John, he bought a, a XKD, um, one of these ones, as you can see on the screen, or the AliExpress. So he paid like 190, 175 pounds. Um, obviously taxes and all changes it slightly, so it might be a little bit more. Uh, and he also got the XKD cranks as well, uh, which apparently he says are pretty light and do the job. Uh, so yeah, I decided he went out today, um, borrowing another person's Asiomas. Uh, and basically just compared the data. So before, we'll, we'll just get into it. So this is, uh, so here's all the fit file data that we gathered. So, um, and then basically just converted it into a into a bar chart. And then I use this from Golden Cheetah. So anyway, I mean, roughly, basically, you can tell it trends relatively well. Now, obviously, this is a, a large scale view, not the most useful in a lot of regards, just because it is so big. But if we sort of zoom in a little bit um, on the graph, you'll be able to see that um, obviously the timings are slightly offset. That's just because of Garmin issues. And it's a bit complicated to sort out 100% perfectly. But basically you can see they track pretty well, sometimes a bit higher, sometimes a bit lower, but but nothing too crazy. Um, and if we get onto the sort of average powers, I guess that's the more important thing. So XKD 120 watts, uh, the Asioma is 117. So on the sort of a large scale, yeah, they're okay. Uh, but obviously what's most important is sort of the shorter efforts because sprints are a lot harder to catch on a power meter um, and the pedals tend to do the best, I think, just because obviously it's from the source. Um, but here again, within five watts, this is probably both plus or minus 1%. So obviously 1% 1 at 800 watts is um, is quite a lot, eight watts. So, you know, you, you're allowed a lot of leeway here. Uh, and then 30 seconds, again, slightly different by... I think I may have actually messed that one up, to be honest. Um, I think actually 30 seconds was uh, was less here. So 30 seconds here was like 417. So yeah, I think we may have made some, some errors here on my recording, um, 392 and 417. So there is a little difference here, but you know, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, again, one minute power is, is like decently off, but I think a lot of it, well, if we look at the one minute power, like it was basically just really spiky and surgy. Um, so that's the reason why it's a little bit off, I reckon, just because like uh, it's not a steady state. It was the sprints. And you can see here some of the sprint stuff's a bit out of order. But then when you go back to more steady state, the five minute, 209, 204, and 144, 149. So these are obviously a bit of an issue here. Um, and we're going to get more involved into going into the Golden Cheetah and, um, and finding out exactly um, what what was going on so golden cheetah if you haven't used very complicated makes no sense for like 90 percent of it um like i literally have no idea what what are we doing here um but yeah so it's not yeah it's not the most intuitive of things but i think basically what we can say is that on sprints like if we just look at side by side you can see the sprint will bring this stupid thing out of the way i don't know what like they, it's a bit too complicated for some people like myself who, oh, hey, just move out the way, son. Oh, this is getting out of order. Oh, hey, there we go. Sorry about that. I get a bit angry sometimes. Anyway, so yeah, like if we just scroll between it, you can see there's some way of comparing it. Like these bits are the different bits are here, but they track like okay. Um, Again, like nine seconds was like there and then this nine seconds is a lot higher. The second one is the XKD, I believe. Um, yeah, the second, this is the XKD one. So XKD maybe reads a little bit high in the sprints, which not great, but I, I do think like, you know, you have to think what about your power meter. Um, so like, let's say it's, you don't really race too much. Most of your efforts are steady state. Then to be honest, the XKD is good. Like it just will give you numbers that you can trust. I probably would want to check it with someone else's numbers, either in a turbo, trainer or on like pedal power meters if you have the opportunity I, I probably would recommend that but i think that's only if you want them accurate compared to other people i think in terms of reliability like are they going to read two then yeah I, I think they probably will will do that um however i guess the the other question is warranty 
Um, on AliExpress, that is the official seller. You get like two, three years warranty, so it's decent. Um, will I be getting a Palmier? I think I might be getting an AliExpress Palmier. Might get an XKD. I've got, so I've got my time trial bike, and maybe we'll go dual side. It looks quite sick, and at the moment, four I Palmier is going for a lot of money and selling the same with a crank set. So if I play my cards right, I might actually be able to make money and upgrade to like a dual sided. Oh, uh, that's the other thing. It's like dual sided, but it's like, it just predicts like basing or oh, your right must be when it's at this uh, portion of the pedal stroke. Your left will be that. It doesn't have the sensors. It's just the um, just the spider. Uh, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers it all. Uh, 40x KD power meter. Got any more questions or want me to do any more sort of uh, reviews on it? Um, and we, we can do it, we can look into it. Um, I might also see if I can compare my InfoCrank with the Asiomas and see what they are, because Asiomas are supposed to be accurate as, and I think InfoCrank, obviously, that's supposed to be accurate as as well. So anyway, cheers for watching, hope you did enjoy this video, um, and we'll see you in the next one.